Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see from the title, I've got a huge home bargains haul for you today. So let's get straight on. The into first it. item that I picked up were these little eggs. Um, I'm getting ready for Easter. I just thought these were so cute. I actually want to do a little bit of um, DIY. I've got a eucalyptus wreath inside and I thought these would just be really cute to hang off of it. So they are spotty and stripy eggs and they're not too kind of like bright and out there. So I just thought it'd be like a nice addition to the living room for Easter. Oh my goodness, maybe the most exciting purchase of this haul. Um, no, I didn't need it, but I couldn't resist this um, what would you call it? a wreath <laughs> like floral arrangement it is so gorgeous i love the purples with the pinks and the whites and i just thought that it's going to look so lovely hung up i mean if you if i had a place for inside i'll definitely hang it inside so that it would get its use but i don't so i'm thinking i might save it for the summer when it's not raining quite as much and it doesn't get so hammered outside and either put it on my front door or on my shed because when we look out into the back garden you can see the shed so i'm thinking it may look nice on there and this was only a 3.99 which i think is an absolute bargain couldn't resist it so excited that i got it <laughs> so the next item that i picked up was some mini eggs because they've got all their easter stuff out now i couldn't resist i mean if there was cream eggs i didn't see any i would have picked those up too but yeah these were only 89p so i thought i'd share them with my daughter and my hubby i don't know what it is at the minute i mean probably i am literally whilst filming this video actually how many days away five days away i'm not i think you'll see this after i've given birth i'm literally five days away from giving birth at this point um and there's something about crunchy chocolate for me at the minute that's just hitting the spot so mini eggs were a must talking of baby i've got some of these baby bibs in fact i did go shopping with my nan and she treated baby to these and they're just these really soft lovely pink you can see there's one with pink hearts and then there's a pale pink one and then there's like a white one with pink stripes and they were just really gorgeous and that really soft and not only two pounds and what i like about them actually is the um closing part so the buttons it's not velcro on these it's buttons is around the side because when you've got a newborn obviously they can't hold their head up and i don't know about you guys but i hate newborn clothes where they have like buttons on the back like dresses and things with buttons on the back no <laughs> no why do you even do it i need to pick up some more food so these are one pound fifty each or i think they're two for two pound fifty um i just really have a thing for like meat flavored crisps like chicken crisps beef flavored crisps so i picked up some roast chicken ones you can't get very good crisps in lidl and that's why we're shopping at the minute and then also got some watsits as well because lidl's own version of watsits just did not hit the spot and my hubby and my daughter absolutely love what's it i was so excited to see this product because i have been waiting for St. Moritz to bring this out and i knew they would eventually because saint tropez i feel like dropped it maybe two years ago and they've probably had this in boots for a while because i feel like St. Moritz when they launch new products i don't know whether super Jug and boots like tend to buy them up or they have a contract where they don't release them to like the more budget shops initially but home bargains have this St. Moritz face and body tanning mist now I don't know about you guys but when I tan particularly in the summer of course it comes off your hands and it comes off your face first and I don't know why but it just makes me feel really dirty <laughs> I don't I know that's so silly but it just makes me feel a bit gross when it doesn't all match and also I tend to get quite dry marks on my neck so I'm hoping that this is a little bit kind of kinder on the like dryness of the skin particularly at the moment because my skin is so dry through this pregnancy um that I'm hoping that this will be really nice it does say it's got hydrating aloe vera I love the fact that it's a water tan because it means no transfer onto bedding and yeah i'm actually really excited to try this for 3.99 i feel like it'll last for a really long time as well i just hope it spritzes nicely and kind of evenly um sometimes obviously these can spritz quite, spritz quite harshly um and i hope it doesn't kind of just concentrate it on sort of like one area of your face but I imagine if you do it quite a distance and even just like walk into the mist that may that may be a way to combat it but yeah of course this is going to be so much cheaper than St. No, yeah, Saint Tropez, 
and I rate St. Moritz. They are my probably favourite tannin brand. Also got these little mittens. Again, my nan treated baby to these little mittens. They're just so cute because obviously she's been born in February, so it is colder. or well, sort of like late-ish February and they were only 80p and they're just so gorgeous. This Jeff Banks range is just amazing. The home stuff is amazing. The stuff that they've got in for ladies like the pyjamas and the slippers is gorgeous. But also the kids clothing in home bargains at the minute is really nice. I then picked up a number of flavour packs. To be honest, I'm really into, really randomly, just potato at the minute. And when I say potato, I mean like, instead of having frozen chips, I like to chop up a potato. That's just hitting the spot with me at the minute. Again, it's probably to do with pregnancy. Um, but I do like to season them. And I will just season them with like Piri Piri, the garlic and herb wedge one from B&M. Oh, I think it's by Schwartz. Absolutely amazing. And it makes them crispy as well. So that's really nice. But I do just like putting like chicken, like what you normally put on chicken on the potatoes too. I also got some Chinese marinade. That is probably going to be more for chicken. Um, and then sometimes instead of like, do you know you have a roast dinner and you have gravy? Sometimes we just mix it up and put creamy peppercorn sauce on because we both love those. So these ones are 50p and these ones are 60p. Also put some of these up. Me and my daughter love these. We had the toffee and pecan ones from the pound shop. And yeah, they were really delicious. Um, but they were 99p in home bargains actually 75p so you know 25% off so picked some of these up and to be honest I wish I would have got another pack now oh I did also pick up a, another seasoning pack this is in a barbecue and again I feel like that of course would be nice on any sort of meat but I will also be putting on my chips too <laughs> again it's not really a home bargains haul now if I don't show these um, if you haven't tried them and you just like quick easy dinners lunches these take like one minute, 30 seconds in the microwave. Don't feel too unhealthy. And they are perfect for toddlers who are hungry and who are impatient. And maybe you've been out all morning and you've not prepped anything for lunch or you, you just don't know what to do. Sometimes it's so difficult knowing what to feed them all the time. And I just feel like these are so handy just to have in. I have spoken about this in my, I think it's my last two home bargains hauls. I feel like I've not been in home bargains in ages though. And I was so excited to see all the new stuff they had in. But they did have the trusty Wet n Wild foundation in and they did have it in the lighter shade, which I think this is my favorite foundation. I recently bought one from Primark to kind of like tide me over until I could get hold of this one again so happy i could get hold of it because it's bloody amazing it's so natural on the skin it doesn't look like you've put anything on it it just kind of like blurs your pores it does say that it's full coverage but i don't i it doesn't feel thick and cakey if anything it, it probably isn't and maybe if you are looking for full coverage this wouldn't work for you because i tend to wear quite light foundation and yeah this is my favorite at the minute and for 99p this is an absolute bargain i also picked up some hand sanitizer because um yeah just running out and i'm still really careful especially with being pregnant with going around the shops and things and with like handles on trolleys i'll tend to sanitize it and if they don't have any wipes available i'll put extra on my hand and sanitize it that way um i got the watermelon flavor flavor scent i think that's the one that i like the best out of these and um, when i first got them i didn't think they smelled very strong but yeah when you rub them in they actually smell really nice so yeah i do recommend these ones for 99p of course i got some trusty dr beckman i have to have one upstairs and one downstairs to be fair not just for my daughter like if me and my hubby spill anything particularly because we've got fabric sofas and we've got very light carpets upstairs this is honestly just a lifesaver i just can't believe how it actually gets rid of stuff so for £2.79 yeah i got another one of those my husband needed some more deodorant so i just got in some sure active dry um he's not particularly picky with deodorant these are £1.59 each I don't know why it is, but my bargain shops don't tend to have a lot of bubble bath. I don't know if that's because they sell out really quickly, but sometimes, like, the only one that I can get is, like, a... The, do you know the palm... Is it palm olive? One, which obviously isn't very exciting for my daughter, who obviously loves, like, unicorns and pink bubbles. And I see other people being able to get really lovely bath products. 
Um, I did manage to pick this one up for her this time though. And it's the Pampering Spa one by Imperial Leather. And I think she'll like it. She's a bit like mum. Does like pink. So yeah, I picked that up for her. And she likes one that is very bubbly, as you can imagine. <laughs> and then another essential. I did pick up some Fairy. This was only 99p. They didn't have red or pink. So I did have to go for the classic. <laughs> and then whilst I was in there and whilst I saw this, um, I did get some foil tissue, like just tissue paper for presents. This is really nice it is white with silver spots on and it was 79p i quite liked it because it was unisex and we have so many gift bags and we always struggle with tissue paper for some reason it just seems to go really quickly we never have any in and i thought well that's going to do five presents so that will be handy talking of presents my hubby's birthday is coming up soon and i did get him this card off of our daughter because they have played spider-man together <laughs> on the playstation he just kind of like lets her run around a little bit on it um, and she loves it so yeah i kind of like that it's her birthday hero as well i thought that was quite cute and yeah that was only 79p another thing that i've been craving for a while i think it's because i didn't have a chocolate orange at christmas like i know like <laughs> i couldn't believe it that i didn't have a chocolate orange at christmas and then that kind of like has lingered i think in the back of my mind so i actually picked up some of the bars and again i think these were like a pound some of my trusty aquafresh this is 99p always get the same one don't ever change it. It doesn't play my teeth up. I feel like it's just nice and it cleanses your teeth nice. So, yeah. And then for my new daughter's room, she doesn't have actually many of her own decorations. So, we've moved my elder daughter out into the second bedroom so that new baby can go into the smaller room because she was in there initially because I feel like it's kind of more cozy when they're smaller to be in a little room and I didn't not that the, the room that she's in is massive um but I don't know I just kind of like a little cozy room I think that's because when I was younger I actually grew up in like quite a small well essentially a box room and I just like that feeling of like I don't know, coziness, small spaces. But yeah, anyway, off topic. Um, she doesn't have many decorations for herself. So I actually have been looking out for these and thank God my store had them in. And they're these really gorgeous macrame rainbows. These are 3 dollars However, of course, I had to put my elder daughter one up as well because I didn't want her feeling left out. It's so weird, like having a second child it's kind of like the first time I've had to think of like getting one and the other obviously with just having one you don't have to think like that and my eldest daughter does absolutely love rainbows and I thought they would look really lovely just sort of hung off the handle of their wardrobe and they're really good quality good really good quality for 3 dollars and they've got a little bit of squash mad in this haul um I picked up two bottles of Kia Aura this is like gold dust in my store. It's so difficult to get your hands on. I believe these are a pound, one pound fifty. And this is the best tasting squash going. It is so nice. Um, but yeah, you just can't get your hands on it. And I'm trying to drink plenty of fluid. I am terrible with drinking water, but I have got a water bottle now and I fill it up with squash every day to just try and stay hydrated because obviously I need more water at the moment and then after she's born I am planning on breastfeeding again and I will need more water so I need to get into the habit of drinking a lot so Kia Aura is going to help me <laughs> and there's more squash I saw that they had Capri Sun in and it's a multi-vitamin squash with no added sugar Capri Sun is like one of my favorite drinks i'm just like a big kid basically with all this squash but yeah i really like the pouches you know like when you used to get when you were younger and used to be in your lunch box and to be fair we'd only really ever have them if we were like going on like a special school trip or something so i'm really hoping that this squash tastes exactly like those and then i also picked up some of these viral wall wipes i really like these because you can use them on the skin and surfaces they are antibacterial and they are £1.50 and you get quite a lot in here. So I tend to have one upstairs, one downstairs and one in each car as well. Just for when we're out and about like using on trolleys and things particularly if my daughter's sitting in them. So yeah, that is everything I think. So that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on Instagram if you are over there. And yeah, thank you again for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.